on the thread. Okay, it says, don't fund a girl's education, especially if you're n- you're not educated. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, 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 well. That there's some truth in there. Mm. Cause we've had so many stories of ladies completing school and they think the men are not their class. No, it's not like they think they're actually not. Hello guys, welcome back to your favorite podcast in the whole wide world. This is the FNF Catchy Dialogues. FNF Catchy Dialogues. Yeah, this is it. And if this is your first time watching us, please do well to subscribe for more content. We are glad to have you here. And to all our returning subscribers, we really do appreciate the support. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Why are you repeating everything I say? I'm co-hosting. That doesn't mean you have to repeat everything I say. Let's move on. On today's episode, um, we've got, um, I don't know whether to call it a tweet, because it's no longer Twitter. It's now X. So, what? Have we got an X? <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to say what came to mind now. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm just going to go ahead and read. i still call it a tweet anyway. Mm-hmm. Elon Musk, please forgive me. Men who are 30 plus, please give one piece of advice to men who are 19 to 29. And it can be about anything. And Should I advise say- you then? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Yeah. Are you 30 plus? Um, nearly 30. Thank you. Nearly 30. You're not 30 yet. So let's move on. Thank you. Anyways. Thank you. I, Thank have, you. I have the brain of a 30 year old. Keep it for your family meetings. <laughs> Keep your brain for your family meetings. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and read the first comment. And it says, Don't drink and party. Don't chase women. Mm-hmm. Concentrate on your business as long as you have that much time. Don't drink and party. Mm-hmm. Boring life, isn't it? Yeah, I, I don't drink. I don't party. Eh? I don't chase women. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, and I'm focused on building my business <laughs> <laughs> why what's 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 no funny? no i mean you don't drink and party fair fair I'm not going to comment no guys he doesn't say? drink he doesn't party he doesn't chase women in fact he's actually married so yeah that's completely fine yeah i'll carry on the next one says no how about you <laughs> <laughs> well i don't drink I like to party most definitely, Mm -hmm. and I don't chase women. The only woman I chase, in fact, I've got two most important women in my life, my Mm -hmm. mom and my kid sister. They're the only ones I would chase. End of discussion. (laughs) (laughs) So you've never drank before. You've not taken anything alcoholic before. We have. We have. Let me see. It's been but a long we, we time. We don't drink like drink, but yeah. we, we've taken yeah, I've, I've, something I've, I've that I've tasted yeah. alcohol before. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. I think palm wine. Remember, no lies, no I lies on not, here. I'm not lying. I said palm wine. Okay. Hey, hey well, Asamo. <laughs> how about how about the women? I told you that I only chose two women in my life: mm-hmm. my mom and my kid sister. Anyways, thank you. Anyways, thank you, guys. You know what I, I was going to ask. Thank you. Yeah. And you know what uh, I was going to say. <laughs> well. Well. Next on the on the thread. Okay, it says don't fund a girl's education, especially if you're n- you're not educated. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, 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 that there's some truth in there. Mm. Cause We've had so many stories of ladies completing school and they think the men are not their class. No, it's not like they think they're actually not. You're a taxi driver, for instance. You look, you why, you, why do you, you take care of why me? Why do you use a taxi driver as an example? <laughs> <laughs> no, guys, I mean, no disrespect to taxi drivers, but let's <laughs> well. Oh, no, no, but yeah, 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 I get your point. I get your no, point. No, yeah. point is, there are some jobs in society that is deemed, you know, for the uneducated. Uneducated? Back, 
Presumably, presumably, presumably yeah. yeah, especially from where we come from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here in the UK, professionals drive taxis after work and mm. stuff like that. Even in Ghana, people who are professionals, yeah, they do own Ubers and all exactly. That. Yeah. But I'm saying, presumably, yeah, 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 yeah. So, guys, no disrespect if you're a taxi driver or whatnot. So, don't find a girl's education, especially if you're not educated. So, in that context, yeah, so let's say an uneducated person. Yeah, they like take care of a girl who eventually, say, gets to a degree level. Hmm? Degree level tend to sit in meetings and conferences, exchange, pro um, exchange programs, yeah. travels outside the country, yeah. stuff like that, bro. Bro. Uh -huh. Brother. So if you were the lady. And Brother. If you were the lady, you are, you are saying that you know <laughs> what dog that man that's not what i'm saying but you see sometimes there's so a level of exposure men don't <laughs> deserve educated women well well no but it's it's an advice don't yeah. do it because you you run at a loss yeah it'll be a wasted investment why are you making it look like to some extent i am the one writing this i'm asking you if this you were the someone's lady, opinion if you were the lady would you marry someone who has founded your education but it's uneducated? Fortunately, I'm not. N I'm asking. <laughs> no, I'm not. I plead well, the fifth. Well, well, I know a number of ladies who have told me they won't marry an uneducated man. Yeah? Yeah. So... And the funny thing is, they won't refuse the help from an uneducated yes. man. Yes. I don't think they forced you to do it. Mm. Yeah. Guys, please. Don't force yourself to be someone's father when you can't bear the risk of loss. Because our fathers take care of us, so, um, our, our sisters, and at the end of the day, someone comes to marry them. Yeah. And but that's the time different. invested into education and the money and everything else goes to the new man that the lady marries or our sisters marry. They help their husbands to succeed in their career, whatever money they make, a portion, only a fraction comes to their parents. So fathers look after their daughters for other men. So if you want the one to be <laughs> another lady's father and invest for another man, please don't do it. Don't do it. Unless, of course, you've got a lot of money. But please, if you want to fund my sister's education, you're welcome. Feel free. Yeah. Yeah. We need sponsors. Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> now this one I like this ooh I like this one it says don't rush life mm -hmm. take it easy step by step one at a time do not use your mates and peers lifestyle to judge your own rate of success everyone has their own as long as you don't give up your time will come finally pray keep God as close to you as you can that's that's a great one yeah I'm done. That's a great one. I'm done. You're done. I'm done. I'm not reading anymore. This alone mm -hmm. will take us days to break down. So let's, yeah, yeah. Going to start. Yeah. Don't rush life. No, there's no need to rush. No. Take it easy, step by step, one at a time. But do you, do you know there are so many people who haven't got that luxury to take things step by step? You see, things... That luxury that, of time, guy. I completely understand where you're coming from. Yeah. But we should also look at the points. We should also look at it from this point. Processes must be respected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No matter how fast you want to get there, no matter how quick you want to get there, mm -hmm. you can't give birth in three months. No that matter is, how that fast is, that you is, try. That is Beth. Uh, Beth. Yeah. It's a process. You can't go to medical school for one year, no matter how brilliant you are, and come out as a doctor. Do you know, do you know, uh, we've got the saying, it shall be well, take things slow. And so many people have died poor. You see, I, I think this, this person is coming from an angle where he's saying, you want to do stuff, yes, but things take time. Mm -hmm. You have to learn to crawl before you walk. You just can't be born and all of a sudden you just jump. You are, you are, no. you are, you are related to things that are nearly impossible. But let's face reality. 
No, so fine. Give me an example of what you think is possible. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Coming to the UK. Yeah. You know you have to write an exam. Mm. Go through job application. Mm. Go through the standard route. Mm. How many people in the UK now who are nurses from various countries went through the standard route without cutting corners, like without coming through the care route first? So not cutting corners as in um, using dubious means, but then not coming us through the nursing route after failing the exam a number of times. Yeah. They didn't have that luxury to keep on waiting to, to write. They just had to come to the care route, come to the UK to write that exam. If we are following that advice, it will say, keep on writing until you pass and come as a nurse. Don't come as a carer. No, if I'm also looking at this advice, it's telling you that first you need to get you need to get um, a clearance. You need to get IELTS. You need no matter how you've, fast you want to you've, get there. You've got there are processes and things that you need to do one step after the other. If I have to pay and get it faster, are you promoting <laughs> bribery and corruption on no, this channel? No, no, I'm 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 asking. We are facing. We are, it's with us. Bribery and corruption is not something yeah, that we completely we condemn that, but. People don't have that luxury. Do you know, uh, in, in situations where systems don't work, systems don't work, do you know, some institutions can intentionally delay. Yeah. Back in Ghana, we've had stories where the regulatory authorities delay mm. replies to the National Midwifery Council or um, other institutions who are overseas seeking, how do you say, right. your services, yeah. right? And something that should take a day can be kept on hold for three months. Unfortunate. Yeah. So what's, what's the worth of patience when you, you can do the needful end? <laughs> I'm going to ask you a very good question. Mm -hmm. You're into research now. Yeah. You knew that you wanted to go into research. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you just get up one day and then... Without any knowledge on what research is and nothing, you just apply for a job in research and got it. So when... No, the, it's a yes or no answer. Listen. It's a yes or no answer. I Yes or no. Listen. <laughs> yes or no. I don't, I don't know how to answer this without no, explaining it. You don't need to explain. Yes, I would have just applied without any knowledge on what research is, blah, 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 blah. No, I took my time to research. You, 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 you I took apply, my time you, to you find apply information. For a job I studied. With I interest. prepared. Like I you, prepared. You, need, you need that interest in the job. Once you have that interest in the mm. job, <laughs> that is it. Mm. The process here. Mm. Oh, guy. Just move on. <laughs> well, uh, I'm going to the next section of that same mm -hmm. advice. Don't use your mates and peers' lifestyle to judge your own rate of success. I completely agree with oh, this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I think, yeah, you shouldn't compare. You should just use them as source of inspiration. Absolutely. But you should make good friends. Your friends should inspire you. Everybody has got their own pace. The fact that we are all friends doesn't mean that we will achieve the same level of success at the same time. I think... It takes time for everybody to get towards his or her personal goals and aspirations in life. Yeah, You should follow your own dreams. And mm. then once someone is successful, you shouldn't blame yourself or you shouldn't dampen your spirit. Yeah, because, feel like you're a failure. Yeah. If that had been the case, we have so many young guys who are doing better than us, it, who are not in the UK or in the US. We're they are still back home. We are even older than some. Yeah. <laughs> and and they are making millions. They yeah. Are, yeah. You don't know what the person is doing in his or her closet. So just use them as inspiration. Find out what they know. If you think it suits with your principles and your morals in life, go ahead. And I think Learn sometimes, from yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. And I think that sometimes pride is what keeps us stuck at where we are. Oh, yeah. For example, you see your friend prosper. You see your friend doing amazing stuff. But you feel like we're all same age we're all on the same level why should i go why should him? i go to him for help you yeah. know you feel proud you feel proud like after all what who is francis who is this who you is that? you die poor in your pride <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah so guys um it's it's only fair that if you want to get somewhere mm -hmm. you reach out to people who are already there yeah for them to offer guidance to because 
information is very powerful. Yeah. If you have the right information, you would be able to do stuff and then within a split second, you're aware it would have taken ages for you to get to if you didn't have that information. Yeah, we, absolutely. We are in an information age now. So yeah. the three most important things in life, I think, is apart from your God, it's who you know and what you know. Yeah. Like the information you get. Absolutely. As I always say, relationship is currency. The people you associate yourself with, the kind of information you get from those people mm. can open doors. Because if you are not privy to something, you you are you are kept in in the dark. And there's a lot of money to be made out there. But what if no one tells you how to make that money? Yeah. So just have to open yourself to it. Don't be shy to ask questions. Just go to anyone. Ask your friends if you are making it. How are you making it? Show me the road and then we we all achieve it together. Yeah. Yeah, great. This one has just caught my attention. Another one. It says, the more options you have, the more you become the option. When you become the option, be careful of the options you choose because no one would be able to say no to you. At least majority of the options you would have, at least majority of the options you have would say yes not really because they want it but because they just want to identify with oh you oh god i can't option. comprehend i can't comprehend it you have to take it one at a time exactly listen mm -hmm. the more options you have mm -hmm. the more you become the option okay do you understand somehow when you become the option mm -hmm. Be careful of the options you choose mm -hmm. because no one would be able to say no to you. Mm -hmm. At least majority of the options you have will say yes. Mm -hmm. Not really because they want it, but because they just want to identify with you, the option. I feel like this is very coded. Yeah. Yeah. We need code Mickey to come and break <laughs> this stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if if you understand, guys, put it in the comment section. Yeah. Because I think it makes lots of sense, but there are so many twists to that, that statement. Absolutely. Yeah. You being the option and having options and all that. Yeah. 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 So let's let's just I, I'm trying to take it from a relationship point of view. Mm. Yeah. So for example, the more options you have, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, before you can have options to choose from, yeah, you have to be in a very good place. Yeah, before you can say, "Oh, well, I can go for A or I can vote." I mean, exam example. Assume you want to go for a party, mm -hmm. and you get into your wardrobe, and you have options. That means you do you get what I'm trying to oh, say? Yeah. If you have just one shirt, you don't have a lot of options. Yeah. yeah. So now all the shirts in the wardrobe, mm -hmm. you are the option the shirts want. Like they're like. Wear me, wear me, wear me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes it's not because that shirt looks good on you. So it wants you to wear it. Mm. But because they just want to be like, oh, I'm the shirt Francis wore yeah. today. Yeah. I'm the shirt Fifi yeah. wore today. Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And in, in a relationship sense, when you have like, oh, I have loads of ladies to choose from mm. or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before you can boldly make that statement, it means you've seen that, oh, I've got options and any of these, or I mean, about 70% plus of these women options I have would say yes to me. Yeah. So that would make you, you know, I, not that they want you, but sometimes they just want to associate with you. That's because true. Because if That's you are true. an option, then it means, because women like men who are doing well in life, who've mm -hmm. got a good status, social status, who've got some good money in the bank and stuff like that. Same as men. No, it's uh, this. This is a conversation for another day. Anyways, in well, one of these episodes, we'll actually this. In one of the coming episodes, we'll, we'll actually decide and um, we'll discuss what men really want. And in another episode, we'll try to get some women in here, and then we'll discuss what women really want. Anyways, yeah, we could yeah. we could talk about that if you want us to make a video on that. Put it in the comments, guys. Yeah, so I'm just going to read it one more time and just. Put your, put your opinion in the comments and what you think this means. The more options you have, the more you become the option. When you become the option, be careful of the options you choose because no one would be able to say no to you. At least majority of the options you would have would say yes. 
not really because they want it, but because they just want to identify with you, the option. Yes. Yeah. I think. Guys, I think just read it and then tell us what you think. Yeah. And yeah. On that note, we'll be ending our discussion yeah. today with, 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 with this. Um, do, you, do you have some final thing? words? So you are not 30 yet. So do you have some words for those who are 10 to 18 years old? <laughs> what advice on, would you give to your younger self? If you're in school, focus on your study. Make that your priority. Mm -hmm. And then if you've got any special talent, you have to build on that. Um, explore opportunities of going your inborn talent. Not everyone will succeed with, with school. Sometimes our parents make that mistake of forcing us to stay in school, focus on your studies. Yeah, it's good. But so many average people and less than average people succeed with their talents and mm -hmm. not academia. So if you're academic, focus on your books, pursue it, make the best out of it. If you've got other talents and school is not your own, please build on that talent. Explore or, or mingle with people who are already doing well in that space. Seek mentorship but with your parents' concern and advice and, yeah, listen to advice from older people, reasonable older people, yeah. Yeah, that's very important because you don't want to be listening to someone who would end up driving your life into yeah. the ditch, yeah. Okay, great. So, guys, it's it's been another exciting episode. We, we wish we could actually go on and on and on. Yeah. Yeah. But for the sake of time, we don't want to make a very long Yeah, absolutely. Video. And I think it will only be fair to probably leave the link to the tweets in the description yeah. box so that people can just go there and read some more because there are tons and tons of yeah great advice being left on the yeah. time i don't think every advice on there will be relevant or yeah absolutely just, you just, just need to filter discern and yeah and know filter what's and then choose yeah actually choose what works for you yeah so guys thanks thanks so much for joining this episode it's it's been an exciting journey so far yeah please do well to share like subscribe most importantly and then as soon as we drop content you'd be able to get and don't forget to tell someone about fnf catchy dialogues yeah and until we see you the next time peace out peace